Hello there. Today we're going to take a look at the five best soundbars under four hundred dollars in the market for this year. First, we're going to show you our five best picks. Then we'll talk about what you should look for before buying a soundbar under four hundred dollars. We'll put the links to all of the products we mentioned in this video down in the description below. Let's get started. Number five, Vizio V fifty one H six. The Vizio V fifty one H six is good for mixed usage. It has a balanced, neutral sound profile that's suitable for a range of audio content. And the subwoofer adds extra boom and punch that's well suited for action flicks or bass heavy music genres. The Vizio V51H6 comes with two satellite speakers, which are mostly made of plastic with fabric covering the front and sides. Its center channel can reproduce vocal heavy content like TV shows and podcasts clearly and accurately. I was pleasantly surprised with music listening too, as the Vizio bar produced a generally warm sound that was balanced enough to be enjoyable. You really can't get true 5.1 sound at this price anywhere else. Even if you do have to fine tune the audio and grapple with the lack of meaningful features, the Vizio V Series 5.1 soundbar is undoubtedly a great deal. Number 4. Yamaha YAS207 BL. As the world's first soundbar to feature DTS Virtual X Virtual 3D surround sound, the Yamaha YAS207 BL is a pioneer in immersive audio. The Yamaha soundbar comes with a powerful external subwoofer that'll complement the expansive sound with rich and thundering bass. The slim soundbar offers flexible placement and supports wireless streaming with Bluetooth. You can enjoy your favorite tunes and podcasts with enhanced sound from your soundbar. The setup is simple, which is surprising knowing what the soundbar can do. The YAS207BL offers HDMI, optical and analog connections to guarantee compatibility with your flat screen TV. Number 3. Razer Leviathan. Razer's first soundbar Leviathan that seeks to improve your gaming experience with its big bassy sounds. Of course, it performs well for music and movies too. It's very versatile, but it doesn't have enough power to fill larger rooms with the same audio quality. In the small to medium sized rooms, it'll shine, whatever you have it set up on. The Leviathan's bar is 20 inches long. It's small for a TV soundbar, but it would be a perfect fit on a desk for the PC or under a smaller TV in a smaller room. It has 30 watts of power, enough to fill a large room, but the audio quality drops in higher volumes. In every scenario, it performed well and presented an awesome experience. This is not only for gamers, but this is also a great soundbar for people that want an immersive experience with a 5.1 surround system-like sound. With its modern design and affordable price, it'll find its way to your house. Number 2. Sony HTX8500 this compact Sony soundbar belies its mid-range price with a blockbuster audio performance. The soundstage is wide with lovely wraparound sound processing courtesy of Sony's clever Vertical S and that internal subwoofer is a proper beast. Manufacturers appear to be moving away from the soundbar plus subwoofer arrangement in favor of single units and that's the approach Sony has taken here with the HTX8500. What you do get is a soundstage that positively looms, occasionally wrapping left and right Every so often you'll get a sense that there's some steerage left and right, and the effect is appropriately satisfying. Sony's HTX8500 doesn't just offer brilliant value for money, it also brings the multiplex home in a way few will find difficult to live with. It may only be a 2.1 channel system, but the impact of Sony's inventive DSP post-processing is genuinely impressive. Number 1. Sonos Beam the Sonos Beam can capture all layers of audio from your media and create a realistic experience for viewers. The Beam was specially tuned by Oscar-winning sound engineers to further enhance dialogue spoken on screen to guarantee you never miss an iconic line. With the help of Amazon Alexa, you can easily check the news, set alarms, and get answers to your questions all completely hands-free. The Sonos Beam is also a buildable system and can be connected to other components to create up to 5.1 channels of surround sound letting you enjoy the sound on a deeper level. Now that we've shown you the best soundbars under $400 out there, let's talk about a few things you should look for before buying one. FAQ. Is Sonos Soundbar better than Bose? When it comes to smart soundbars, the Sonos Beam and the Bose Smart Soundbar 300 are two of the best compact options on the market. Both models sound great, but the fuller mids on the Sonos are better suited for music, while the Bose has slightly better dialogue performance for shows and movies. Where should a soundbar subwoofer be placed? If you want to know where to place a subwoofer with a soundbar, the best place to put a subwoofer is forward-facing near the front of your TV, either in the middle or at one of the sides. Which is better, a soundbar or home theater? 
If sound quality and immersive experiences are the top priorities in your home audio upgrade, home theater surround sound has the upper hand on soundbars. But either way, anything sounds better than TV speakers.